Hello, Mixtresses and Mixters. This is Mixtress Ray, and you're watching my ASMR YouTube channel. <laughs> I need like a name for my channel or something, because it just sounds clunky to say my ASMR YouTube channel. Um, today, I'm going to do a little bit of a makeup. Well, it's my entire makeup collection. I'm going to show you my entire makeup collection, which I did once before, so you're going to see a lot of the same stuff, but I have acquired quite a lot more items since that time. So I'm going to start with, the way I'm going to do it is going to be kind of a weird, um, a weird organization. But the way that I'm going to do it is, first I'm going to show you my top five makeup items. Like, the only items I would ever need on a desert island. Not that I would be putting on makeup if I was on a desert island, but you know what I'm saying. Top five makeup items. I'm going to show you that first. Then I'm going to show you, um, just realized that none of my top five are e.l.f. products. <laughs> that is weird. Um, and then I'm going to show you, since most of my products are e.l.f. products, I'm going to show you those all by themselves and sort of give you little mini reviews on them. And then I'm going to show you everything else. So let's start with my top five. My top five makeup Items. I will just set them out for you and then I'll talk about them. This one kind of almost doesn't count as a makeup item, but I'm counting it. So, um, and this for me would be a full face. Like I, a lot, some of you know that I'm like sort of getting into makeup more lately. And, um, <laughs> so I've been acquiring a lot of new items, which is why I'm doing this video. But, um, for me now, this is a typical everyday look. I could, a typical everyday look, I would usually use more than just these products, but I could pretty much pull off my everyday look with these products. Um, and I would wholeheartedly recommend all of them. Um, they're all drugstore things. Um, well, except for this. This one you have to get at like Ulta or something like that. But everything else you could get at um, like Target or something like that. So this is the um, Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. This is really kind of great because it was less than $5. It has this little pull out mirror. Super amazing, right? And it's got, it's in the color ash and brown. I don't know if they have other colors, but um, basically you just get this little palette with um, a angled brush, some little tweezers. You've got your two different colors, which I use a mixture of both. And then the, um, this is just sort of like the the setting stuff that you can put over your eyebrows at the end to sort of tame them if you feel like you need to do that. And I've been really impressed with this. I don't have a lot to compare it to because I um, am not a person that I'm just now getting used to doing anything at all with my eyebrows. I've never really done that before. So um, the only thing I really have to compare it to is like an eyebrow pencil that I've used before and using the um, powders is much easier to control. So this may not be like an actual really great one, but it's working for me and it was less than five dollars and it's like, like it says, it is the ultimate brow kit and I love it a lot. So it's one of my top five. Um, and then the next on my top five would be Revlon Color Stay eyeliner thing. <laughs> and it's just, you know, a typical eyeliner that comes out of a little dispensy thingy. And it's got dispensy thingy. Really great, right? It's got a little sharpener on this end. Plus, it's got a little smudgy thing. And, you know, you've seen these before. And it stays pretty well throughout the day. Um, I also like, just got that on myself, I also like the um, Rimmel version of this, which is pretty much the same. I don't remember what it's called, but um, yeah, just, just a nice basic black 
eyeliner with serious staying power because I am a person, just for reference, I have um, not exactly hooded eyes, but kind of hooded. I have a lot of extra eye eyelid skin. Plus, um, I have very oily skin and I have very watery eyes. So basically everything I have needs to be as um, waterproof as possible because it's all gonna come off. And the color stay works pretty well for that and it costs like six bucks and it lasts a while. So, and it um, goes on really nice and rich and dark too. So just a staple that pretty much anybody that likes makeup would have. It's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, this is one of my favorite things ever. It is um, Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty like glitter pencil. It's a big fat glitter pencil. And it's just like a really nice fine glitter. And it's my favorite thing ever. So like on a typical day I would do like an approximation of a cat eye with the black eyeliner. I do my eyebrows with the ultimate brow kit and I do the, my bottom waterline with the glitter eyeliner. And this is not sold anymore. I think I originally got it at either a Sephora or an Ulta. I think Sephora. And um, it's not sold anywhere anymore so I'd have to like buy it on eBay or something like that. So I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to get this again but I love it. I love it. And then um, my new favorite mascara, don't have a lot to compare it to because before this I just pretty much always used Maybelline Great Lash and I knew no better. Um, I'm still not great with mascara, like I just don't, I don't think I do it right. <laughs> but I really like the applicator wand on this. It's Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam and I like the applicator because it's, you know, I just like the shape of it. You can like use the end to get more precise eyelash goop and activity, or you can just use the whole thing, just a couple of swipes and you're good to go. And it's, it's good stuff, relatively cheap. I like it. It doesn't really flake too much throughout the day and it is pretty waterproof. Good times. Top five. This is always my top five. If there's nothing else I'm wearing, I'm wearing a lip smacker. And it's usually, nine times out of ten, gonna be the Dr. Pepper Bonnie Bell lip smacker. Good times. Wearing it right now. Love it. Can't say enough about my Bonnie Bell lip smackers. If you guys ever want to get me a present, give me some Bonnie Bell lip smackers. So that's my top five. And let's go into the e.l.f. products. So I'm going to show you both the e.l.f. products um, that I like and the e.l.f. products that I don't like. And I'm going to try to go through them pretty fast. This is an e.l.f. lip stain. Um, it's just basically like a little marker. And I do not like it. I'm not much of a lipstick person though. Anyway, so this is in the do not like pile. This is... Elf Waterproof Mascara Top Coat. This is not something that I even tried. It was like a free thing with an e.l.f. haul that I got recently and it's just I'm really not ever going to take an extra step with my mascara so I never even used this. It's supposed to make any mascara waterproof but my mascara already is waterproof so. The next thing is the it's e.l.f. Pucker pink something. It is sort of grainy. That's why I didn't like it. Um, and it just doesn't really do much for my lips. It just gives it kind of a pink tint and it's grainy and I don't really like it. So that's that. Sadly, whenever I did that elf haul, um, that's like a month or two ago. Almost everything from it I have disliked. Um, so that is sad. But basically there was like a five pack of shimmer eyeliners. Let me pull all of them out here. Let's see if you can see each of them. And 
they are, I was excited because they're all supposed to be shimmer eyeliners. Um, they're all glittery. They all come with their own little sharpening thing on the lid. But they all suck. They're super hard. They're super, um, they're not very pigmented. They're really hard and they tug on my eyes and I don't like any of them. In fact, I haven't really even tried several of them because it was just like, it hurt my face and nothing was happening. So I just didn't even like dedicate myself to really testing it out. So very disappointed in these. So this, this whole pile over here is just stuff I'm going to like donate to DAV, even though that's kind of gross. Nobody's going to want used makeup, but whatever. This is another thing that I got in with the free gift that I got from e.l.f. in the haul, the recent haul, um, Tone Adjusting Face Primer. This stuff is just not, I don't really like foundations and stuff like that for the most part. It's not something I'm going to use ever. However, I, it's, this stuff is like smooth and it's just fun to put on my face. <laughs> that sounds weird because um, I don't know how well it really works for what it's supposed to work for because I'm not really a foundation person but I'm gonna keep this around just in case um, I ever feel like using it. This um, is a product from e.l.f. that I use a lot, um, Eyelid Primer, and it is, it's almost out actually, and it, it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It's in the pearl shade. And I don't know how well eyelid primers work because, again, like I said, I have super watery eyes, super oily, lots of extra eyelid skin, so I think an eyelid primer would have to be really freaking tough to withstand me. And I don't think this is. But I would get it again because I like to just use it. You can't even tell. But I like to just use it to give like a, an overall shimmer to my eyelids. So it's good stuff. I would get it again. I wouldn't go out of my way to find it, but if it was at Target and I needed an eyelid primer, I'd get it. Um, this is Pop and Party. It's like an um, eyeliner cream. I've had, I think I've only used it once, but I really like it and I really like Elf's Cream Eyeliners. This is called Smudge Pot. It's not called a cream eyeliner, but um, I think it's pretty much the same difference. So I like that. I haven't used it much, but I like it. This is the other cream eyeliner I have from e.l.f. and it's just their, their black shade. And this, I've actually, um, I'm still kind of trying to perfect like a cat eye look. And what I usually do is I use one of the felt tip pins to like map out a basic shape and then I use the cream eyeliner with an angled eyeliner brush to fill it in and this stuff is really nice and dark and um, smooth and I like that it isn't wet like a liquid liner um, because that just works better for me and it stays pretty well throughout the day um, it does do a little bit of transferring onto my lids since, since I have more of a hooded eye shape, so that happens with almost anything. But this stuff is pretty great, and it's probably only five bucks or less since it's e.l.f. So I like that, and I would get it again. Um, this is their liquid liner in jet black, and I think it probably works well. I am not advanced enough for liquid liner yet, so... Um, Every time I've used it has been a hot mess so far, but I think that's not the fault of the um, eyeliner itself. It's just me. So I'm not advanced enough for that yet. This is e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Rich Red, and I've used this several times. The thing about these, though, is they almost always, they like fall out of the top. They don't stay in there very well. The packaging of e.l.f. products isn't the greatest, but, um, I mean, it's super cheap and it's cruelty free, so you go for it with that. Let's see, I've got another one of those in here, I think. Oh, I thought I did. There it is. And I've also got an e.l.f. matte lip color in Nearly Nude. Come on, 
focus on it. You know you want to focus on it. There we go. Um, it's, I don't really like it, the color, but I keep it around for some weird reason. <laughs> Let's see, this is one of the things that they sent. Um, Elf Eye Refresh. And it's just sort of like this little rollerball thing that has like some sort of minty, menthol y stuff in it. It doesn't really do much of anything, but I keep it because nobody's going to want that. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Elf products Elf Shimmering Facial Whip. This is just a nice little. Um, highlighter and this is one of those things that like I use I use this almost every day just in the corner of my eyes and on my cheekbones and again you can't really tell what's happening I keep putting like shimmery white things on my hand and you can't even tell because my hands are already so shimmery and white right <laughs> anyway um, this I will definitely rebuy forever as long as it's available this is in the color spotlight and I love it it's just, I don't know, it's like a dollar and you can just put it anywhere where you want some sparkle and you're good to go. Look like a freaking Twilight Vampire immediately. Um, this is a concealer in Fair because I'm a super pale bitch. Um, I have not used this much. I've used it a couple times. It gets, if I remember correctly, pretty much anything. And I don't know if this is the fault of Elf. It's probably just me. But pretty much any time I've ever put any foundation or concealer or anything like that under my eyes, it's just gotten really crunchy. <laughs> um, and it just doesn't stay and it doesn't work well. And this stuff I think worked okay. I only used it like once. But I've pretty much come to the conclusion that I'm not going to be a foundation person ever. So whatever. Which brings me to my next thing. Um, I decided to try their BB cream with my most recent order from them. Um, and this one is in the shade of Fair. Um, and I it went on pretty smooth. It sort of has a yellowish tint. But um, the thing that I don't like about it is the smell. It has a very makeup-y smell. And see, it goes on really yellow, but... It kind of like it smooths out and it looks okay once once you get it all in there um, but it has a very makeupy smell and like the first time I wore it I was like complaining about it a lot and um, me and my life mate Michael went for a walk and I was just sort of complaining about how my face smelled and he was like yeah it just smells like makeup you can kind of tell that it is yellowish but it does make my right hand look smoother than my left hand, which is the whole point of makeup, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, so I I think I would recommend this if you're okay, if like you're not super sensitive to like perfumey type smells, and if a slightly yellow tint of makeup works for you and you can find it in your shade, I think it would probably be a pretty okay product, but, and I'll probably keep it, um, I don't know why, but I probably will, even though I probably won't use it much because of that smell. Oh, it just, I don't like perfumey smells unless it's a perfume that I like. Um, let's see, I'm doing these in no particular order. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in Blackout and it's, it works pretty well, you know, it's just a pretty basic lipstick. Gotta have a black lipstick, right? If you're a goth girl like me, you totally do. This is their um, liquid eyeliner in Stardust. Just a bunch of glitter. It gets real crunchy. Um, and it, the glitter is not super saturated. Like, it's just not quite enough glitter for me. I'm a super glitter person. Like, you can kind of tell that's not a lot of glitter. But, I mean, I just like having this little pot of glitter so I can I can dip this in any other glitter that I have to make it more saturated and paint it wherever I want. Um, it does get a little bit of cr a little bit crunchy, though. Technical 
or crunchy. Uh, here's another e.l.f. Just a regular e.l.f. lipstick in Gypsy. I like this color. It's a nice mauve color. It's a nice mauve color. I like it. Oh, I've got another long-lasting lustrous eyeshadow. This color is gorgeous. I don't have anything that shows what it is, but it's a sparkly, deep plum purple color, and I love it a lot, and I've used it a lot. And this is the kind that you can just stick your finger in there, smudge it on your eyeballs, you're good to go. I love that. And this is sort of in that same vein. This has sort of that same color in it. It's a baked eyeshadow. I don't think this is baked. It doesn't say it is anyway, but this is a very similar, oops, sorry, color. And it's got the other, these other colors in it. I really haven't used this yet, maybe once, but I love it because it's all shimmery and beautiful. But it's in Lavender Love. And most of this stuff was on the Elf Haul video, so if you want to watch me unbox that whole thing, it's got most of the stuff in it. Um, this, do you want to? It just says purple. All that focusing, just so you can see that it says purple, is a waterproof eyeliner pen. I've used it a few times. It's really not bad. It's acceptable. It's not the most perfect shade of purple. I like a more of a dark plum burgundy type purple, but it's still nice and I still like it and I would get it again. I'll show you my two, I have two e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow sticks. One of them is in plum and purple. The other one is pear glow. This is the one I use a lot. It's like just like a highlighty type shadow color. It's always good to have stuff like that. I just like highlighty, shadowy, shimmery things. And then this one's in purple and plum, which I used this once as like an eyeshadow situation. Oh no, that came apart. And it just didn't really, like, it kind of moved around a lot. It wasn't the best. As you can see, again, problems with packaging. And I, I like the way it looks, but it's just, it's a little too, I don't know, it just doesn't stay put. Here's some eyeshadows. This is a Flawless Eyeshadow Smoky Palette. It's got um, directions and everything. Look at that. And it's okay, you know. Their eyeshadow, Elf's eyeshadows, I do like. I'm not great with eyeshadows, like I said, because of just the nature of my eyes. But here is oh, another Elf palette that I have that just has lots of stuff in it. And it's good. It's a good go to. It's got a lot of colors in there. I also picked this up a couple years ago during Halloween, the Elf Enchanted Beauty Book that has eyeshadows, eyelashes, eyelash glue, it's got a little white pencil, it has a little um, applicator in there, and then this is a liquid lipstick. So that was cute. It Elf has a lot of cute stuff like that, of just like hey, here's this beauty book thing with instructions and everything you would need for six bucks. I like that. It's just cute. Um, two other e.l.f. eyeliners that I have that I got in that recent haul. Um, this one's a gray color. This one's a purple color. I really haven't used them yet, and I don't have high hopes because all of these were just too hard and not saturated enough and I think that's gonna be mostly the same situation with these although they're not as bad um, but they're just not very saturated not very great 
um, two elf products left and then I can move on to the rest of my makeup. Makeup Mist and Set. I don't have any prior experience with this kind of product, with makeup mists or makeup setting sprays. This is the first time I've ever tried any of it. And I, like I said, oily, watery person. I don't really think this helps me that much. And I don't know how much of it to blame on e.l.f. versus how much of it to blame on just me. But um, I do like to use it for like applying glitter or turning eyeshadows into an easier to control thing. If you just, you know, put the eyeshadow on a brush and then spray some of this on it, it makes it easier to apply. So I do like it for that. As for like, I don't know if it sets my makeup though. I have sprayed myself in the face with it after putting on makeup several times, but I have no idea if it really works. My last e.l.f. product is just this um, high definition powder in sheer. Just, you know, some regular loose powder kind of situation. Again, I don't really use, um, I don't use foundations or powders really hardly ever because it's just, I, I don't know, it makes me feel suffocated and I don't like it. So I don't usually do it. So that's my e.l.f. stuff. I'm going to put it all back in the box. all of my other makeup products. This is going to be a long video, you guys. I hope you can handle it. Um, these I'm going to keep separate because those I don't want anymore, so I'm going to put them in a different container. So this is over. Okay. Drawer two. Two drawers full of makeup right here. Drawer two, I'm just gonna do in no particular order. This is a Revlon eyeshadow that is actually, I've had it since like high school, first of all. It is super beautiful and glittery and I love it on, I love it so much, but I, my eyes have an allergic reaction to it, which I don't think that used to be the case, but it is now. So uh, maybe the makeup has just gotten bad over the years. So this is one of the ones I'm getting rid of. I'll probably just throw it away since it's so old anyway. No one will want it. This is something I just recently got. The Revealed 2 palette. And it's just, it's based on, you know, the Urban Decay, one of the new palettes. The rosy gold nude palette. And God, all of these colors are just so gorgeous, aren't they? They really are, but I just, I don't really know how to use eyeshadow yet. Most of the time I just put on some eyeliner and call it good. So I really don't know the potential of this stuff yet, but I do find it so beautiful and hopefully someday I'll know how to use eyeshadow. So that stuff is great. I assume. I don't really know how to use it again, like I said. And this is another eyeshadow palette. This is the only Urban Decay eyeshadow, Urban Decay thing I've ever got in my life. Um, and I really like the colors overall. And again, but these, I mean, anybody that's used Urban Decay before will know that these are super saturated. If you mess up with these things, I mean, they're stuck on your face for a while. So, um, but I'm glad I got it because I was able to get it on, um, I don't know, probably eBay. It was just some website like that for pretty cheap. So even though normally a Urban Decay palette would be like 60 bucks, this one was only 20, I think. So It'll be nice once I learn how to use eyeshadow again, like I said. Um, okay, let's just, I've got a lot of stuff here. This is just a mm, stupid little cotton candy thing that I got a gazillion years ago and I'm getting rid of it because it's old and goopy. This I use, this is, I do use it kind of a lot because I need to have SPF when I walk to work and um, I really like the way it smells. 
Um, but it doesn't look that great on and it gets crunchy under my eyes. But it smells nice and it feels nice and cool on my skin and I do like that. Let me just get out some of my glitters. Because I am a total glitter cream queen. Anytime I can find some glitter to put on my face, I am going to do it. A lot of these are like clown makeup type things. That's probably not all of it. I got this too, which is supposed to be like a adhesive for glitter. I don't really know exactly how to use it, but and it's definitely gotten old over the years. But whatever. So yeah, look at all these beautiful glitters. I will buy any kind of like cream glitter. That's my favorite. I never use the gold ever. I literally had this for like 10 years. But I love the cream glitters because you can just rub them in anywhere you want glitter. Boom, there it is. Ooh, not really into gold glitter in general. But that's why I put it on my head, so I'm not wasting it. So I got that. This all came in a set, all of these glitters. So I've got a red. I've got an iridescent, which is my favorite, which is why it's pretty much almost all gone. I got just the regular silver, second favorite. I've got this stuff, which is not incredibly useful. It's pretty. It's pretty. But it just, this is the kind of glitter that since it's so big and dark, it looks weird when you put it on. This is one of my favorite glitters. Wet n Wild Body and Hair Glitter Tube. Because it's really nice and fine glitter. Which I like better than like the big chunks. Putting all kinds of stuff on my hand. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love glitter. Love it, love it, love it. And this stuff is weird. It's like Bonnie Bell, like powdery stuff. And it sort of smells like sugar. It's not really good for anything, but it tastes nice. And it has sort of a lavender sheen to it. Oh, this stuff is good. This stuff is called Star Wars. And it's this loose, goldy type, powdery, super mega fine glitter. You just want to snort that up your nose? <laughs> Pixie Sparkle, one of my favorites. I got this back in the 90s. And it still makes me so happy. Um, oh, here's another glitter cream, just a purple one. This stuff I wore the other day and it made my eyes super irritated. But again, I think it's just my eyes. But they totally like watered off completely by the time I got to work, which is like a 15 minute walk. This stuff is amazing. Ghostly Body Shimmer. I love this stuff so much. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Hard time getting this thing off. It's such a gorgeous, like, skin color, sort of r rosy, rosy peach. Look at it. Don't you just want to fall in there forever? <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Making a mess with my enthusiasm for glitter. Okay, totally just wasted a bunch of that because... I was so excited about jumping into the glitter, but now it's just all over my desk. That's okay. I love glitter. Ooh, now I'm a super alien glitter creature. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Let's get out 
a little handful of eyeliners that I have. Um, most of these are Rimmel. The only one that's not Rimmel is this Jordana. This stuff is pretty awesome. It's like a poison ivy green color. Really nice. I wear this one a lot. Um, and Rimmel makes really great eyeliners in general. I love them a lot. This is my current favorite purple. It's a... That's pretty true to color right there. It's a really nice plummy, sparkly color. So I don't know if they still sell it, but I've had it for a while. Oh, this isn't Rimmel. This is... Is it? I cannot tell. It might be Rimmel. It might not. Um, okay. This is that eyebrow pencil I was talking about earlier. Um, I'm going to get rid of this because it's not... Um, I don't know. It just It doesn't really... It's not the right color for me. Because it's just sort of a general brown color. And I have more of an ashy tone to my eyebrows. I've got some... A friend gave me this obsessive compulsive lip tar and it's just black goopy stuff. Um, got some, some NYX Perfect Red. This is just some pale Ulta eyeshadow. It doesn't really do anything for me, so that's one of the ones I'm getting rid of. This is, I use this all the time. Um, just a big fat scandalize eye pencil. Eye, eye pen, I mean. You can get a pretty precise point with it. It's pretty good stuff. Um, it's kind of watery and not as saturated as I'd like it to be, so that's why I usually I use this and then I put the, um, the e.l.f. cream eyeliner over it to, you know, solidify the whole thing. This stuff is pretty fun. NYC. Whatever it says. Can't really read it in this light. But it's just basically some eyeshadow, but it's super sparkly. And gray. Ooh, look at that beautiful stuff. And that's one of those things you can just wipe it right on your eyeballs and you're good to go. I'm making such a mess. Another Revlon color stay. This one's just in a brown color. This is a just a black Rimmel pencil that I've used almost all the way down to the nub. It's good stuff. Got this um, NYX Butter Lipstick in Razzle Fiesta. Good stuff. Nice and hot pink. I've got some like cream clown makeup type stuff from Halloween in black and white, just in case I ever need to do big swabs of stuff in black or white. It's just some some old Great Lash mascara. This one I don't really like. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I just recently got it. Um, it's just not the right color for me. This lipstick. It looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? But it just looks terrible on me. It just doesn't work for me. Even though it's just a gorgeous orchidy purple color. Got some um, eyelashes, even though I hardly ever wear false eyelashes. I only have two pairs, that one in that e.l.f. palette and then this one, but, um, you know, you never know when you're going to need some eyelashes. You might. You might. Got this stuff. Just some eyeshadow. L'Oreal. Some liquid purple eyeliner. I have used this a lot. It's not as difficult to work with as the black stuff, probably because it's not as saturated. So if I mess up, it's not as big of a deal with the purple stuff. Got a Jordana dark lip pencil. It's the only lip pencil I have. Works great for dark colors. 
got a black cherry Revlon. This is like a super old lipstick. This is my favorite lipstick probably. Cover Girl Divine. I'm it's almost it's like a neon mauvey color. Good stuff. I'm literally having to resist smelling all of this stuff because I'm just that type of person that smells everything. This is an eyeliner seal, so just basically anything that you, like eyeshadow that you want to turn into eyeliner or um, just anything you want to make liquidy, like the makeup set spray, you can use that instead. This is a black eyeliner pencil from Medusa's Makeup. It's not very saturated. Um, so I just never really used it. I don't really like it, so I'm going to probably get rid of it. Um, another, this was a two-pack of the brown Revlon eyeliners, color stay. This little palette I've had for a long time. Um, I really like the green and the more neutral color, obviously, as you can see. I've got two of these Maybelline lipsticks, matte, they're both matte, one of them D Siren and Scarlet, and the other one Divine Wine. These are pretty great. So you can see I have to use this brown one a lot, or this um, dark red one a lot, and I messed it up recently. I don't remember how I did that, but I did. And the red is a pretty good red, but I haven't used it much. So I'm just not a lipstick person, like I said. I have a lot of them, but I just don't really use them. This stuff also really irritates my eyeballs. Pretty much any time I put a lot of eyeshadow on, it's going to be super irritating. But look how beautiful it is. Focus on it. Look at how beautiful. It's this really mesmerizing, like, hot blue, electric blue. 80s color called New Wave. That's exactly what it should be called. I love Medusa's makeup, even though it makes my eyes sad. <laughs> I don't think it's their fault, though. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick in 506B, apparently. And this is just sort of a brownish red that um, works for um, goth girls that love the 90s. Here's just like a black eyeshadow from NYX. Sort of has a goldish shimmer to it, but it's just not very saturated and doesn't really do anything for me. So, getting rid of that one. This is the only foundation I have that isn't a BB cream that I've had for at least six years. It, it works okay. I mean, I don't know. Again, not a foundation person. This eyeshadow. Oh my god. I love it. Look at it. So beautiful. It is called Safari Venom. And it is amazing. I love this color. Probably my favorite eyeshadow color. But it. I'm running out of space to put things, but look at that. Oh. This just gets to my, my poison ivy roots. It doesn't react as badly as the loose eyeshadows from Medusa's makeup. I, I can usually wear this pretty well, although it still does irritate me. Um, this is just a gold Rimmel eyeliner. I don't really know why I have this. I think I thought it was more of an orange color, but I haven't ever really used it that much. Um, this is just some eyelash adhesive from NYX. This eyeliner I haven't used much of. It came with the Urban Decay um, smoke palette back there. And it's just there 24-7. 
glide on eye pencil and perversion it's very popular um, from them and it does go on very black and very easy like I barely pushed down to get it that dark just now um, but it sort of irritates my eyes too because it's probably because of the waterproof formula or whatever it is but I mean it's really really easy to do like a quick smudged out eyeliner look with this because you just look three swipes and your eyes are saturated and then you just smudge 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 and go so that works but it's a little bit it's a little bit sticky on my eyes and it's a little bit just too much not not like darkness wise I love how dark and smooth it goes on but it's just such a thick line that you don't have a lot of control with it and um, it's just it's just so sticky but see you can you can just completely smudge it out though look at that it's just so smooth it's just a little it's a little too smooth for, for my eyes I need a little bit more firmness or else it's just gonna water so much my eyes have been watering so much because I'm wearing it right now um, and then the other thing that I got with the smoked urban decay palette is their um, just regular original formula of eyeshadow primer um, I'll probably never be able to afford this again but I do use it a lot I don't know how much it helps again because I have the craziest eyelids ever so it may not help that much <laughs> but I do use it and um, so that's it that's all of my makeup I'm sorry I had to show it to you I feel like I showed it to you like super fast although I've been talking for 47 minutes so it's not that fast um, and this is not obviously a, um, a detailed review or anything like that but um, and I have a hot mess of a glitter hand now. Ooh. So um, I don't have a ton of like interesting thoughts about makeup because I'm just not a person that knows a lot about it still. But um, I'm getting a little better at it and I'm having so much fun with it. I mean, makeup is supposed to be fun, right? I think so. So, you know, have fun. Don't spend a lot of money though. I mean, seriously. I spent, this is what I spent the most money on, like 20 or 25 bucks on that palette. And it was just like, and I haven't really used it. I felt too intimidated almost to use it. Plus eyeshadows. But, I don't know. I, I'd say go to the drugstore, buy cheap stuff. Buy cheap stuff that's fun and, you know, just be happy. Because that's what life is all about, right? Being happy. So yeah, we're all born naked and the rest is drag. Happy makeup enjoyment. <laughs> Have a great week, you guys. And um, I'll probably be back with another like Mario Kart flavored thing for the next video and um yeah i'll see you then oh um check out my radio show this friday it's on the same time it always is which is 7 to 11 central standard time and you can access it i'll put the link in the show notes but um you can access it at mixtressray.com just press play on the little yellow cassette bye